Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in need of a website, domain or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. I've got a problem. You may have noticed that over the last few months, I haven't really been taking many photos in my videos. There may be a certain factor of world pandemic that's been limiting me a little bit, but I've got a master plan to fix all of this and actually change the world of photography. With my proposed changes, I'll never have to go outside again and take any photos. Sounds perfect. I mean, if you've read the title and you're this far into the video, you probably already know what I'm going to be doing. I'm using artificial intelligence to create photos for me so that I don't have to touch a camera ever again. I'm using something called a GAN, a Generative Adversarial Network, which is a form of machine learning. I'm definitely not an expert by any means. In fact, I'm definitely a noob. But basically, the TLDR is big computer online thing studies a bunch of images, 200 to thousands of images of a particular object, scene, anything. So it could be like cars, mountains, ocean, you know, an object or a thing. And the computer studies those images for a couple of hours, could be a whole day, depending on how many images there are and how many steps you want to take this through. And once it's studied all of that, it can then take what it's learned and produce completely unique and original artworks based upon all the things it's picked up. So my plan is to take one of film photography's biggest cliches and feed that into the GAN and therefore create an infinite amount of new artworks of said cliche so I can just keep pumping them out whenever I feel like it. I feel like I'm the villain in a cartoon creating some kind of strange ray gun to destroy photography. It's pretty cool. So for my cliche, I'm picking gas stations at night. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is gather my data set. I'm going to need a minimum of 100 images of gas stations at night. If you have a smaller data set, there isn't really enough for the machine learning to study, so the results you'll get out won't really look that accurate. It'll be a bit mushy. So I took to Google Images and I stole loads of people's images. And then also I did a call out on Twitter for you guys. Some of you sent photos without really knowing what I was up to. Uh, so. Thanks for that. I then had to take all of these into Lightroom to crop them to make sure they're all square and output them all at the same size just so that everything ran smoothly. It then took around five hours to study all of the images. And then I exported both a set of a few hundred unique images and also a latent walk, which is like this animated video where it morphs between the different scenes and it's kind of like very lucid thing. And then I hit up my friend Greg, who has a great YouTube channel all about modular synths, because I thought he'd be the perfect person to kind of soundtrack this thing. And so before I show you, the finished piece, the final video, I've got something else to show you which just turned up. A new print of 30 gas stations that don't exist. For this, I took the generated images and built up a little sequence, and I think it came out really cool. It's up for sale for just 20 pounds in the link in the description, and purchasing really helps to support the channel, so if you do, thank you very much. And finally, here's the finished video.
finally, I'd like to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to start a new business, maybe you want to open an online store, or you want to build a photography portfolio, look no further than Squarespace. Squarespace is an amazing all-in-one platform for building anything to do with websites. It's really so simple to use. It's a lot of drag and drop, but the results are really professional. There's a bunch of different themes to get you started, and if you do come into any trouble, there is amazing customer support. In my opinion, having a website is pretty essential. If you are a creative person, you need someone to have your work existing online for people to find it and show it off in the best way possible. And Squarespace is the perfect way to do this. Minimizing the amount of time you spend building a website and maintaining it means you have more time to work on the things like the actual artwork to put on it. So if you've been putting off updating your website or building a new one, why not sign up to Squarespace today using my code negative feedback or the link in the description to get 10% off your order. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this was interesting. I'm having a lot of fun with all of this stuff, so uh, there's a lot more in the pipeline. A lot more potentially, well, I say potentially. I've made way better things than this, I just can't show it yet. So, um, stay tuned.